Okay, so hi honeys, how are you? Tanya Shiloh here, and of course, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you guys? I hope that you are fine, amazing, popping, and all that other good stuff. Thank you for all the amazing love and support on all my recent vlogs, especially life in Kampala vlogs. You guys, my analytics say that you love vlogs more than any content I put out, and I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. I also love very much creating uh, a lifestyle vlog kind of content if that makes sense yes so if this is also the first time you're watching my face over here hi there i'm tenya shylock i'm a ugandan content creator i create content around beauty and lifestyle please do consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell yes so as you have seen from the title of the video to the introduction of the video today actually i want to be doing a tour of this place because we are about to be moving to a new place and uh, it wouldn't be fair to a lot of you guys uh moving out of this place without doing a proper tour so i'm gonna be going through everything and hopefully giving the details i can and also leaving some details uh in the description box below so just sit down chill and let's just dive into today's vlog right now it's another thing our watch hours are almost at 4,000 watch time or oh, watch hours if that makes sense you're remaining with something like 300 watch hours if you have a little bit of data and uh you want to support me of course please go on and play my uh, my playlists i'm gonna be leaving them in the description box below and hopefully also links will be up on the cards throughout the whole video yes it's another thing that i had not mentioned that i feel like is very very important to mention this room was a bathroom a former bathroom yes in my main parents house or my childhood slash uh our main house yes our main house and uh we no longer use it for now i think five years yes and um i decided to transform into some space or a working space i can literally sit in and create content and um i want first of all to say a, big, a very very big thank you to my father i appreciate it from the bottom of my heart thank you for standing with me throughout the whole of this season he helped me out to do a lot of things in this room as i'll be mentioning hopefully and it is not the biggest room ever it is a very very tiny space so uh i'm gonna try my best so that i show you everything at hopefully possible angles okay so you guys when you enter into the main room leading you to this filming slash studio this is the main thing that you are going to be seeing on top there is my name tanya those balloons were for my party that was organized by some of my family members and also some of my subscribers of course and uh, i just felt like i have to leave it over there to always remind me um, of how much i'm loved and how much uh, truly people appreciate my content and of course just at the back as you see over here i'm having a metal black kind of um hanging space onto the door where i did hang my christmas lights here in uganda we call them christmas lights and uh they bring or they produce a lot of different colors i bought the the I bought, of course, the Christmas lights with my mom in Chikubo at around 7,000 Ugandan shillings. And, of course, for the decoration uh, of, the, of the Christmas light, I have a little bit of uh, the berries going on over there and also other berries going on over there and some small, small dolls to just make the place look amazing, especially when I'm taking uh, pictures. And, of course, for the, for the better or for the good of the vlogs when I'm vlogging, yes. This black metal over here my father is the one who uh, i bought uh, an idea to him that i wanted something like this so when i told him the idea he talked to the people who uh do welding so they made for me this amazing thing and which uh, and of which I, I love very very much because it accomplished the function i wanted you guys actually i thought that someone might ask about the berries these are physical uh they are artificial berries i bought them of course from chikuo at 3500 and 3500 and these small small puffy dolls i bought them from um langira jewelry store after this uh behind the door we shall go in this position over here so we are going to be going from up to down just like this to my small jungle going on over there so starting up from up over here i'm having this long metal please concentrate i'm having this long metal um 
I would say hanging space for clothing, but actually I don't use it for clothing. Uh, for the first section over here, I'm just having my belts. So I have a lot of belts because I love belts. I love the extravaganza it adds into uh, my fashion. I have a lot of them and I appreciate the fact that uh, I was able to display them over here because it's very easy for me to pick out in the morning, you know. So most of my belts, by the way, I get them from Langila Jewelry Store and on top of that from Chikubo. So uh, next uh, to the belts, I have this decoration thing going on over here. This decoration thing was given to me of course at my party uh, which they organized for me and just prayer I just have this amazing uh, dropping flowers which I got from Langila Jewelry Store back then on Black Friday I think I you saw this in my tour for the house when I was still in Chigungu landing site uh, both of them were around were 3,000 I think because they were at a discount this was 1,500 also this one was 1,500 yes okay, so you guys are just going down over here just like this you are going to find my small mini snake plant jungle going on if you don't know guys i love and i love very very much snake plants you know this is my newest edition and i think uh it is in the new vlog yes and uh all the history about it is, is it is also in the vlog so this is i think now the new edition as i told you and it is the eldest eldest you know it has amazing 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 leaves over here and i also have the youngest snake plant going on over there and also i have a cactus plant over there by the way they are sitting on a vintage table yes vintage or old table if that makes sense and also here i'm having uh, another snake plant yes this is also another snake plant i have spent a lot of time with this snake plant i started having it when i was in chigungu landing site and i know someone might ask tanya where do you buy all your plants i have never bought my plants actually from any seller you know i just go around and uh you we have a lot of uh gardens and all that i just pick what i want then i can put it and i can grow it indoor yes by the way I never talked about the cable yes this room doesn't have any cable uh, any socket for electricity so i have to use a cable so that i can supply this light over here Guys, by the way, I had forgotten to say that I also have another snake plant just in near to my mirror going on over here. Snake plants are very good because they act as air fresheners and uh, they easily catch or gossip. I think catch would be the best word. They easily catch or gossip uh, any pollutants in the environment. Yes. You guys, just near to the belts, I want to talk about the next thing, which is this huge, huge mirror actually before i bought this mirror i never thought in my life that i needed something big like this as a content creator you know so uh this mirror is uh two by six meaning that in the width is two uh, feet and in the length it is six feet it is a very very long long mirror and if you have been a long honey of mine i think you know this mirror it is one mirror that i always and always stand in you know uh, i used two different sellers to make me the mirror the frame was made around seguku and tv road at twenty thousand ugandan shillings by uh, mubazi yes or oh, a person who does furniture and the mirror i bought it from katale bunamwaya at forty thousand ugandan shillings and the guy who bought me the mirror is the one who flamed the mirror so the mirror was forty thousand ugandan shillings and the frame was actually twenty thousand ugandan shillings bringing the total thing or the total uh the total mirror to sixty thousand ugandan shillings and of course just below it we have another snake plant and this is how actually it does look from another angle over here it is a very 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 huge huge mirror by the way guys i would have recommended you the person who bought uh who i bought this mirror from yes i would love to recommend that person but 
I would not uh, recommend him because at the end of the day, though he framed uh, the mirror, it was a lot of saga. I had to move and and uh, move to his place a lot of time. It was very, very stressful. And if you know me, I don't love stress. I would rather pay my good amount of money for a product to be done, delivered on time. But I had to move, look for the person for over four times, like in two weeks, guys. Just imagine, since and yet I paid my money. So I would not recommend the person who framed the mirror and also the person who made the frame because at the end of the day i think you cannot see very very well but the frame uh, though it looks very very good with this brown amazing color again uh he made it when it's a little bit bent yes so um i'm advising you when you want to buy something like this a big mirror like this just take your time look out for the best people who do these things and don't just uh follow my direction which which I did follow. You guys, actually, I want to talk about the next thing. This is my bag section over here. So I don't have a lot of bags. Oh, I believe that I don't have a lot of bags, you know. I just have a few of them and I just love to hang them over here. I have some curse bags. Most of my curse bags, I buy them from Ch uh, from Chikubo at Farouk BB. And um, he's one person I've been buying uh, on my curse bags for a very long time. My handbags, my bag packs and all that i just love love his products and his prices are very very good so i decided to just hang them over here i have some two toads this great toad over here with a teddy bear i bought it from langira jewelry store back then in 2018 i think at 20,000 ugandan shillings and yes, most of the bags here are from Farouk BB and there is also a single bag from Owino yes you guys, I would recommend if you want to buy a bag to please also take your time and buy something that you really, really love because at least in the whole of my bag collection, there are just few, few bags or, um, you know, there are a lot, all of them. I think all of them, all of these bags, I use them. There is nothing like I keep for different occasions, you know, and uh, I just appreciate very much the time I take into uh you know investing in fashion investing in bags and all that other stuff it's actually going to the next section and this is my absolute absolute favorite section when it comes to this room so you guys actually this is just below my bags it is just a very very simple chair going on i use this chair to put on my different tripods you know uh my filming tripod and above it uh we have a potted artificial flower going on over there most of my flowers have been given to me you know by my mom by my friends you know but i have also bought some of them from langla jewelry store yes and just next there is my dummy which i use too by them to learn hair but i no longer use it i have actually two dummies currently my sister is using one and of course just below i'm just having my ring light one of my ring lights the other one i think is in within my bedroom and uh another filming uh tripod going on over here actually this tripod i bought it from jumia uganda during the jumia dot com not jumia uganda okay jumia, jumia uganda but dot com uh and it was around thirty thousand Ugandan uganda shillings by then the black friday of 2019 and i also brought this uh on a black friday of 2019 guys see this uh, this is why i'm telling you please concentrate this is why i tell people that always invest in things that you know they are going to last you a worth a good amount of time because when you don't you'll end up buying uh, filming gears every year filming gears every year and look at me i bought in 2019 my ring lights they are very small ring lights but they have lasted me for a way good amount of time you know yes, it wouldn't be fair if i don't talk about this curtain i also have a curtain up here uh, which crow uh, which covers this window going on over there and i think i'll start from up can i start from up can i start from down i think let us start from up guys so you guys i think let us start from up so uh uh, from up this is the way how the whole section looks like so if you don't know this guys i love sweaters i love and love a fabric i love feeling i love different patterns i love the way how sweaters make me look being a person who was insecure recently and just um, being in a position to just 
I uh, have let out all my insecurities by now. I'm a sweater collector, guys. I love collecting sweaters very, very much. And all the pieces you see up there, they are absolutely my favorites. Absolutely my favorites. So let us start from uh, up here on this small section going on over here. So at this small section, there is a rack this section over there there is a rack which is holding some of my t-shirts that uh, i use especially when i'm at school especially short sleeve t-shirts i just let them hang over there that uh rack over there which is holding them i bought it from owino at five thousand ugandan shillings and uh the hangers i also bought them from owino at around 300 ugandan shillings so um uh, the rest of the uh the clothing they are just my amazing sweaters this is just just a jacket the next thing is a jacket and the third one is a jacket and the rest they are sweaters so i bought all my sweaters from nabukela plaza not lying you from nabukela plaza twenty thousand ugandan shillings they are sweaters for twenty five thousand ugandan shillings they are sweaters for thirty thousand ugandan shillings and these jackets this black one uh one of you guys gave me the money to buy it and even up to now i appreciate it from the bottom of my heart so uh the rack where the sweaters are sitting it is just an ordinary uh rack that i bought from a vendor at uh fifteen thousand ugandan shillings back then in 2016 okay so you guys when you move from up to down over here i think let, let me start from this uh i would say decorative but uh not so cute but cute from a distant angle this is dried papyrus grass over here in a basket this basket i bought it from the african craft shop in entebbe and the papyrus grass i also got it around my place then dried it by sun by the way the basket was around i think 20 uh, not 20 2500 from the african craft shop in entebbe down here i'm just having a rack which is having shoes i do not wear at all at all these are shoes that i don't wear at all the shoes that i wear most of the time are within my bedroom but these shoes over here i don't wear them at all they're just specific specific times in each month that i use them and of course guys next to the rack which is having uh, my shoes it is a rack of uh clothing over here i think i bought this when i was in entebbe and people have been a very very long honeys of mine they can do recognize this storage space very very well uh up i'm having my white clothing in the middle i'm having t-shirts that i wear occasionally at home and down i'm just having pair of pants there is nothing fancy over here i think but uh that uh, rack over there which is having my clothing guys it was i think by then seven thousand ugandan shillings nusuka samvu and i do i wide it and uh, i painted it white okay so you guys actually this is the next uh cupboard that i have in this room uh the middle cupboard i think you have seen this in most of the vlogs i love this very very much actually they are it is one of the cupboards that my mom and my dad uh had for a very long time even before i was born you know very very good vintage piece over there just the i wide it and i painted it white yes and on top as you see of course i'm just having my tin oh my storage space not a tin but actually my storage space for jewelry and i'm um, just having my paints for monstera monstera if that makes sense with all my lashes that i occasionally use this frame by the way i bought it from chikubo at five thousand ugandan shillings and the print i i got it from pinterest then printed it from um, a stationery i think uh, at mukaga i also have my stand up mirror going on over here i've got a lot of comp Compliments by a lot of people asking me about this mirror guys bought the mirror from crown supermarket at 25 30 or 25 thousand ugana shillings i think i also did that vlog when i was still in entebbe back then in 2020 you can go watch that but i think how i believe that you can also grab it from a lot of other supermarkets yes and i also have another painting going on over here uh it is also for monstera or monstera leaves yes guys i love i love nature and i love uh, plants and uh just here which is a new added addition to this room it is this new glass vase over here 
got this from got this as a gift yes got this as a gift you know and i just decided to pop in some of my artificial flowers as i told you most of my artificial flowers i get them from langila others from chikubo others my friends and my buddies give them to me yes so let us go to the second uh phase going on over here hopefully you guys you can see me very well over there i want to talk about the second phase of this amazing cupboard i've been talking about all along so here i'm having my new added addition of uh storage you know this basket over here bought this at around 2500 on a sailor or a hawker and i just generally have here my body mists and perfumes the whole of this thing has body mists and perfumes you know and for the rest of the cabin i just have uh, my skincare products skincare products i just have my hair products some of my hair products and uh body you know body products and all that and some of my lip uh products which i occasionally use on a lot of different times i also have them partly here so there is nothing special going on over here so okay so you guys the, the next part or the next storage space it is uh, one of my absolute favorites you know i just have some of my makeup bags going on over here if you don't know i'm also a makeup artist and i occasionally move out to go do people's makeup so i have some of my makeup bags going on over here you know this bag i bought it from alua park at around forty thousand ugandan shillings going on over here it's a glassy puppish kind of uh, 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 makeup bag. This one I got it from Langila Jewelry Store. Yes, I think back then in 2019 or 18, I'm not very certain. And these are some of my simple, simple handbags, you know. And lastly, my male wallets or my men wallets, you know. Ah, by the way, guys, I've not mentioned I also have all my glasses going on over here. So I'm a person who loves to wear uh, shades, especially when it is too, too shiny. So I'm having all of those on this DIY uh, gold plated plate going on over here and i also have my prescribed glasses inside here you guys are uh, at the last cabin down i'm just having my uh makeup i think by now you know my makeup and some of my nail products going on over there by the way i have a nail appointment after this and some of my books down there Oh, please concentrate okay so you guys this is the last storage space going on over here this storage space actually the way how i got it it was so so freaking uh, funny very very funny guys you know actually it was not white initially it was a beige whitish color so i decided to paint it white you know i decided to paint it white and uh on top here i'm just having my ordinary and ordinary makeup brushes uh some of the things that i occasionally use i'm also having an artificial flower i got from uh chikubo I, I also have some of my stationary things my pens my pencils and uh some of the things that I occasionally reach for. So I decided to put them on top here. So the next one, uh, it has, uh, by the way, this is a new candle that my brother did make me. I really want to burn it and I feel how uh, it smells, but he says that it really, really smells so good. Hopefully I'll burn it and uh, hopefully recommend if that makes sense. <laughs> so here I'm having some of the things that I've not used, you know, my soap that I've not used, some of the cleansers I've not used, uh, some of the makeup down there and in the last shelf i'm just having hair products hair products hair weaves hair wigs uh blow dryers and all that yes they are actually in this uh basket going on over here so i bought two baskets from the african crafty shop Guys, actually, I want to come to the conclusion of this vlog. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. People who support me, people who support my brand, people who support my content, people who support things I do. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. And uh, don't forget to check out all other vlogs I've been making so far in my YouTube career. Feel free to let me know what you think of them or is comment because if you don't comment there is no way i uh, i will understand uh what you have loved what you have liked what i have to help you with and all that other stuff and this was my simple slash uh easy and uh very very humble i know according to the room tours or studio tours that are on youtube 
when you search out for mine guys it is nothing you know but uh this is it and this is me this is what i have and i appreciate it from the bottom of my heart because i know a lot of people just yearn to have a space such as this so that they can create more um and of course uh live their lives in the best way possible so i'm very very appreciative uh of this Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what you feel and what you think of the video. Thank you very much and bye for now.